Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything is a total washout. So I believe in my last B-Wow, I talked about a holiday, I guess, special B-Wow. I think I'm going to do that at the end of November. Well, actually... Hmm, because I Black Friday, I keep forgetting like Black Friday and Thanksgiving is literally next week because I wanted to do like a what I'm getting on Black Friday. It's basically just going to be like some online things. Specifically, I wanted to pick up some stuff from um, Lunatic Cosmetics. I hope they're having a Black Friday sale because I really want to get the contour palette, but it's pricey. <laughs> Uh, so I think the next be wow I'm gonna do like specifically holiday releases so I'm gonna try and avoid anything like blatantly holiday release here but really almost anything that comes out between like a week ago and like the end of the year it's gonna be a holiday release but I'm gonna try and do specifically holiday releases for the next be wow so let me know down below if there's anything specifically holiday that you want to see me review in that next video okay so this is something from M cosmetics and I have to say like I actually kind of like forgot this was a brand is it still run by Michelle Phan I guess the car thinks so because I know she started this brand but I don't like I'm still a bit confused by Michelle Phan. Like, she left YouTube for a long time. I think she she started Ipsy, right? But was no longer a part of Ipsy. And then she created M Cosmetics. And now it's... I don't know if she's really a part of M Cosmetics. But recently, I've been seeing them actually release products. So this is something called the new magic hour collection and it just seems kind of like your everyday neutral collection i have to say i like the packaging you see you're seeing everyone come out with like these stop sign shaped packaging nowadays but i think that that eyeshadow palette looks really cute excuse you but i do think that packaging looks really cute would i buy this no because i holy shit i just saw the prices <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the eyeshadow palette is $38 the blush is 34 the lip basically a lip balm is 22 yeah I'm sorry no no okay can I just talk about how like okay so Colourpop is already doing too much as is the norm for Colourpop uh, I, I don't understand this frozen collection Obviously, it's another collab with Disney, so we're just going to assume that at this point, any new Disney movie that comes out is going to have a Colourpop collection with it. But, like, who is this supposed to be marketed towards? Is it supposed to be for tweens who are, like, really into Frozen 2, but also like makeup? Is it supposed to be for the adult Disney super fan that collects everything Colourpop? Which, is that really that big of a demographic? I don't know. Or is this meant for kids the kids that are actually excited and gonna go see this movie i don't know um and quite frankly uh, I, I don't know i didn't like this i thought it looked really stupid quite honestly and just yeah like there's eyeshadow palettes there's like i think there are blushes and highlights and oh, they're just doing too i'm getting sick of color pop if i haven't already said that i'm just Oh, so this I can actually provide also an update on because I did already buy this. This is the new holiday release. Technically, it's a holiday release, but it's not makeup. So we're just going to talk about it today. This is the Hollow Taco new release. So they came out with one, two, three, four, five actual Hollow nail polishes. And then something I was waiting for. They came out with a long lasting nail polish base and a smoothing, I need that smoothing base so bad. So I picked up both of those bases and then I picked up two of the nail polishes. I picked up the silver and I picked up the rose gold. So I didn't get a shipping confirmation yet. I don't know when I'm gonna get them because I'm pretty sure like they got a lot of traffic on launch day, but I am so excited. I think they look so cute. I love these nail polishes. I'm still wearing them. Like I wear them constantly and I think they're really affordable because on their own, they're around 13, which isn't really too different than what you would see your normal nail polish, you know, like in the drugstore or something. So I think they're worth it. I really like them. Cannot wait to get these in. So I've never tried this brand before and I haven't really heard all, honestly like too much about it. This is Nabla Cosmetics and they came out with a new eyeshadow palette called Dreamy 2 The Mystic Palette. Honestly to me this seems just way too shimmer heavy. 
Yeah, I, I wouldn't use this. I think the packaging is gorgeous. Yeah, but yeah, looking at the swatches, there's just way too many shimmers and I don't think I'd, I just don't think I would use this so that's gonna be a pass from me so it looks like elf is jumping on the CBD bandwagon and coming out with some uh skincare products I've only tried a few skincare products from elf and honestly I have not been impressed I think if you're looking for good affordable skincare you should look at the ordinary uh, I think elf is just they seem a bit gimmicky and they don't really feel or seem effective in my opinion and in my experience so this i'm not going to pick up but um yeah check out the ordinary they don't have this trendy like cbd products but honestly i think it'd be better to stay away from these kind of trendy skincare products because for skincare you don't want something trendy that's kind of like popping up and then going away look for good products that are permanent parts of collections and see what actually works for your skin Oh shit, so I didn't even mention this at the very beginning, because, oof. I already talk shit about this on my Twitter, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you follow me there if you want to get, like, my instant knee-jerk reactions to some things. And one of those was the new release from, uh, Jacqueline Cosmetics. First of all, there are still people who, like, have not gotten refunds and have not, like, resolved their issues with her hairy metal metallic lipsticks. So, Yeah come out with a new collection B uh, the collection itself is they're just highlighters and brushes and also I think there was a tweet from tea spill that really sums this up she's like are we really supposed to believe that in under five months Jacqueline found a new lab started a new formula tested did the production and everything within five months for these new products I think not so I don't even have to say this, but I'm not going to be buying this and I don't suggest you do either. I don't want to support brands that uh, put out shitty products, blame their customers, can't take criticism, and then don't treat their customers right after specifically like giving them shitty products. We're not going to support those kind of people. Leave them in 2019. I also think it's funny that everyone's shitting on her because of her... Uh, PR package, how it's like environmentally unfriendly and it's huge, but it's Jacqueline. You saw her first PR package. You know it's not going to be anything environmentally friendly. Like, she'd actually have to put like more than a minute of thought into it for that. I was going to say that this is kind of tacky and uh, garish. It's a big Kylie Cosmetics uh, vending machine, but then I saw it's only in Las Vegas. So I guess it kind of fits in with the rest of Las Vegas. <laughs> So Tarte collabed with Lele Pons, who I guess was like a Vine star. I know a lot of people have issues with her, but I honestly don't really know anything about her or who she is. But this collab just looks Tarte tragic. <laughs> like most of their other products, it's just really boring. And I think the color scheme was cute with the purple and like the marble, but like the palette itself, it's just like, why would I buy this? <laughs> Oh my god, so this actually, so we're going to talk about another color, a color pop release. This actually got me pissed off. What is this? I swear to god, they already have this palette. And, they, and this is a whole collection. It's like, we're going coconuts. Like, why? Why? They're really running out of ideas. They need to chill. <sighs> like, I really want to see, like, ColourPop's P&L. Like, what is their business? Like, how is their business looking? Hmm. So, apparently, Riley Rose came out with a collab, and it's with Cheetos. <laughs> so, they had a, a mini Cheetos palette, and they had a uh, highlighter bronzer. That looks disgusting. Um... The palette itself, it's actually kind of cute. Like, the colors are really nice. It's just kind of like a little warm palette. I think it's cute. Um, I would no way try the lip glosses or that disgusting looking uh, bronzer highlighter thing because why? Okay, so I'm actually skipping over a lot because it is just a lot of holiday releases. So this would probably be a shorter video. And then the next BWOW is going to be a big like holiday 
packed spectacular switching over to indie makeup spotlight it looks like amy loves makeup is doing a collab with amy hearts beauty i've never heard of that brand and i don't know what is this actually called because i saw this palette and i thought it said alma but does it say alina let me know down below i'm i'm a bit confused i guess now that we're on the topic of indie makeup i can give you an update because i don't I don't know if you guys uh, remember this video or were with me in my channel back when I did it, but I did do a nine brands that I want to try in 2019, and I focused specifically on indie brands. So as of now, I've tried all of them except for two, and one of the more recent ones that I just picked up was actually Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. They're a bit expensive, so I found a palette that was on sale, and this is the Elvira palette, so I just picked this one up. Look how gorgeous that is so this is actually on sale for ten dollars so i grabbed this and then i also grabbed um their empty palette so this is basically just i'm gonna take out the little pieces just an empty palette with some slots and then there's a drawer down here that also has some slots so basically what you do is you basically like repress eyeshadows into here and they give you like these little cardboard pieces to help you press in the shadows so i don't know if i'm gonna do it immediately but at some point i'll make like my own little mini palette in here i was thinking of doing face products but i don't think i'm gonna be able to fit like a bronzer or a highlighter in here so i'll make my own little mini palette in here i really want to try this out because it looked cute and i'm going to test out my Elvira palette but I also mentioned I did want to get their um contour palette but their contour palette runs for like 75 or 80 dollars and that's a bit pricey so I'm going to wait I am really hoping they have a Black Friday sale if you happen to know if they are please let me know I will be wait I'll actually be like out of the state on like a little mini vacation for Thanksgiving but I'll have my laptop with me and I will pick up anything from that brand uh for Black Friday Okay, so two kind of bigger releases came out in between when I filmed this and when I'm editing it. So I wanted to go over these releases real quick. The first one is round two of the KKW Beauty and Makeup by Mario's collab. And I actually have to say, I kind of, like, I know it's I'm falling for a trap and I know that it's just neutral with a pop of yellow and a pop of green. But I kind of want that palette because it's giving me subculture vibes. <laughs> So I might actually look into that palette. I don't know if this is limited edition, um, but I kind of really want it. And the next release is another, who could have caught this coming, another collab between Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. This time it just looks like she curated a whole bunch of singles and some face powders into palettes. I don't support Kathleen Lights, uh, and I'm sick of Colourpop at this point. Like, I swear to God, if I never hear Colourpop again, it'll be too soon. All right, so we're gonna cut it like pretty short. I'm sorry this week was so short, but I wanted to save all the holiday releases for next time. So odds are the next video, we'll see if I can find time to film at night. It could be like an hour long video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.